Hi everybody, little video today, I, uh, I asked the public, you people, for some foodie related questions because there's no foodie, there's no side of her, there's no foodie content, everybody's a bit hungry for foodie content so I'm, I'm going to feed you. Um, lots and lots of questions to get through, not that many. And I might learn something as well actually because I'm still not a foodie expert, I'm a foodie intermediate? I'm intermediate. Okay, we'll say that. Uh, first question. Foodie said women aren't allowed to be without their husbands in public. See, I didn't even know that. Uh, then said she waited at the mall food court while Salah went off to put the groceries in the car. Wouldn't that leave her alone in public without her su husband? And somebody has said, Foodie is also a lying liar who lies. Yeah, probably just a, a, a foodie lie. I'm, I'm learning that, that there's lots of lies. I knew that anyway. I knew we'd get lots of lies from her, but... There's loads coming out, especially in the next episode. Uh, who is her favourite Beezer and why And why is it Jimmy Bunker? Oh, why is it Jimmy Bunker? And why can't Mr Cardigan read? The only relevant question, someone says, it's definitely Karate Joe, somebody else says. Yeah, I know people were saying after the episode 2 went up that she knew about all the stuff. I don't know that, but her reaction when she was on camera was, was very odd. Uh, who's her favourite Beezer? I don't know, does she have many fans left? I don't I, I don't know, I've no idea who her fans are. Hopefully this isn't just a video of me going, I don't know. Um, oh, there is something I wanted to talk about, actually, because I just got it. Um, you know in a, you know in an unboxing video, she got a play button. Did she get one of them? Because I didn't see that in the video. I think I watched the whole thing, but I didn't see one of them that you get, so... Let me know, did she did she get one of them? <clears throat> uh, who puts her shoes on? Checks her fupper. Fupper creases, yeah. Who puts her shoes on? I remember when I was up to 250 something pounds. It was a little bit of a, ooh. Oh, I'm not finding that difficult, that's not good. So what's she, 400, yeah, 400. Who puts her shoes on? Salah? I'm sure she can do it herself. There's a, if you just get slip-on shoes that don't need laces, maybe you can do it yourself. I think that she can probably slip oh, slip into her shoes. So I really want to know who puts her socks on. See, that's the question. Who puts her socks on? Yeah, socks was hard as well. Um, I think that Pete's had to do it uh, in the Lucru Villa era. Maybe she doesn't wear socks in Kuwait. People are saying Pete's was, was treated really badly by her. I think I'm getting to that next. I think, I think we're coming up to that. Uh, she bought the type of shoes we recommend in long-term care to reduce fall risk. Uh, they are bendable to a point so you can literally just shove your feet into them. Hello, Mr. Snowflake. Uh, you did amazing work with your docu. I know. Why does uh, Foodie Beauty hate women, hate the, the woman in her, hate women in her life? That wasn't me messing up, that's them not being able to spell. Uh, like her sister, boss, nurse, mother, People have said that, haven't they? She hates women. Is it because she has no empathy? Or is she so insecure about herself? I do not understand her. I do not like her at all, but I like to now. Why does she think like that? Sorry for my writing fault. I'm Dutch. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. I was waiting for you for your spelling. Sorry. You're better at writing English than I am. Uh, and I'm terrible at, at Dutch. Um, thank you. Why does she hate women? I don't know. Oh, it's me just saying I don't know again. Oh no, this is a terrible video. Why does she hate women? People, I know people have said she's jealous of them. Jealousy? Yeah, maybe jealousy. She's, she hasn't been nice to the, to the women. The Ontario police in an I'll do. In an I... The Ontario police in an ideal world would charge her with dangerous driving based off the clear evidence she provided in her videos. That's why she may have deleted a lot of those old driving videos. She must del she deletes so many, doesn't she? That's why I, that's one of the reasons why I stopped doing this series in the first place. Because I thought, oh, I can't find all the videos. People people say she was banned for for a week or ten days because she was being a bully in a community post. So she's always tense. She's always doing stuff inappropriate and then having to delete it. But uh, how culpable is Pete's? Uh, he seems pretty innocent, but I don't know all the facts. Also, why does Chantal have such a hold on him? I don't know. When I first started watching him, he seemed like a a fun, weird, interesting guy. But the more I'm learning, I'm... Mm. Just f*** off. 
I wish there was a way to help him branch out of that mess of a situation. Well, they still talk, don't they? They're still, they're still in touch. I don't know if they're going to be friends by the time the series is done, but they're, they're still in touch. Is there anything that another person could do to help her? No, I've learned some people just... You can't help anybody. You can't help anybody. I have a friend who was nothing like her except that, he sh that she has eaten herself to death. Sad, I'm sorry. She has recently become bedbound. Oh, God. And I don't know of anything I can do except for love her and be there. I feel so helpless. Oh, my answer's pretty depressing then, isn't it? You can't help people. Yeah, I've learned that. You just, you can't help people. The vast majority you can't help. Oh, that's such a sad one. Reminds me of, uh, of the whale. Because there's a woman who comes to, to look after him and feed him. And when I was watching it, I was, I was thinking, why isn't she doing more? Why isn't she doing this? Why isn't she... You can't help people. I don't know. Would I stop trying to help? Uh, this one's from Jimmy. Uh, what shocked you the most about her? Um, what's coming up in episode three? I think that's the most shocking. Because I, I always say to you, I always say to Jimmy when I'm shocked by the world being awful. I can't believe this. I can't believe P Diddy, uh, uh, Dan Schneider. I can't believe it. And he goes, "Why are you still? I've got, I've got the message. Why are you still shocked?" Oh, that's it. He's shocked every time I get shocked at how the how awful the world is. So I'm not going to be shocked anymore. Everybody's off. And another one from Jimmy. Do you think one day you could be friends? Me and Foodie. No. <laughs> no. No. No, 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 no. Why do people watch her? Train wreck. Nice little break from their own lives. If you've got something horrible going on, something serious, you watch the reality show that is somebody else's life. I started watching her in 2022. I was in a car accident and was on bed rest for five months when I saw Foodie Beauty. I thought she did males and made males look nice. How can she even move at that weight? I have no idea. Like I say, when I was 250, I'm... oh no, I, I was struggling to get around. It was a fat 250. Uh, how can she even move at that weight? Main question, why does YouTube allow her actions? I don't know. Because people keep saying she's, she's violated terms of service plenty of times. Allow her actions. Well, they put her on a ban, so supposedly. So, um, so maybe not stand in front, I don't know. Uh, I love your videos, thank you. Videos are okay. Uh, what is your end game? Destroy foodie beauty. No, uh, just keep making videos. That's it. I th and somebody says, I think his end game is to make videos. Oh, uh, full stop, he's an artist. I'm not an artist. I make silly videos on me computer on Final Cut. I had some effects, I had some filters. They're fine, the videos are fine. Someone says, that wasn't for Snowflake. Oh, that was the, uh, that's a question I'd ask Foodie. What's your end game? What is Foodie's end game? Die with everybody here? No, I don't know. Why the name change this time? Oh yeah, if she's, if she's watching this, I guess she could answer these, couldn't she? If When she gets off a ban, she's gonna be raging. She's got the episode two to rage about. She, she'll have this to rage about. Why the name change this time? She changed it to Mariam because, what did she say? She doesn't feel like Foodie Beauty anymore. But I was gonna say, it reminds me of um, Muhammad Ali when he was called Cassius Clay. He became a Muslim and he changed his name to Muhammad Ali and I forgot why, what it means now. <sighs> Muhammad translates to praiseworthy. So praiseworthy, what did Ali mean? I'm sure Ali meant like king or Ali, king or in charge or something. Ali is derived from the Arabic, literally means high, elevated, Hi, maybe should have been called Mariam Ali then, if it means hi. Because <laughs> of drugs. Uh, hi, elevated champion, kings of kings, emperor. So yeah, so Muhammad Ali, what does Mariam mean? So Muhammad Ali changed his name to that, has meaning behind it. Mariam English. I can't believe it. Uh, rebellious. Bitter. So that's why she's... <laughs> so Muhammad Ali, uh, praise, king, that's pretty cool. Um, Foodie Beauty changed it to Mariam, which means bitter. So I see why bitter. Uh, Mariam is a girl's name of Hebrew and Arabic origin. This name, the form of a biblical moniker, Mariam, has a little firepower to it. It translates to bitter, beloved and rebellious, inspiring all those who take the name to be emboldened by their own independence. Bitter. Maybe she can change it back to, well, maybe she can change it to bitter. 
<laughs> after she's done with Foodie the Beauty. Do you think she will have a lowest point to stop her self-destruction? I'm doubtful she will, honestly. I thought Amber would have low points and, and that would make a change and then she never did. And then one or two other people. No, I don't think there's a low point for, for horrible narcissists who are bitter. I love that her name means bitter, that's so funny. To be honest, I don't keep up with her at all, but she's Muslim all of a sudden now. People say she's cosplaying because uh, she copies the partners. And when Poopy Gate thing came out, didn't she say, right, I'm not being a Muslim or something? So people think she's cosplaying. Or is she doing it for attention? Or to please the man she's with, please the man she's with? Because I highly, in capital letters, doubt Miss Thing, I like Miss Thing, Miss Thing believes in Islam, even down to how you greet someone, literally saying, peace be upon you, like she knows nothing about peace. Oh, yeah. I hope Allah curses you. Religion's all about peace. Foodie beauty's a... All right. <laughs> Hey foodie, oh, I guess this one's for you, um, Mariam, better, whatever you call it today. Hey foodie, what are your blood sugar numbers? Are you still taking diabetic medication? Is she still diabetic? Jesus. Will you cover the CPAP rescue episode two? Oh, yeah, of course, everything's going in. I'm doing my best to make sure I get all the main points and all and some of the, the little points that people might not be familiar with. But I think as long as I get the, the main points, I think we're all right. CPAP, oh, CPAP this episode, ah. Oh. The stuff about, um, I don't want to say his name. I, I don't like saying his name, Dom. She goes over in the police. I think that might be this episode. I'm sure there's more than one, I'm not sure. Might be this next episode. I'm still in the early, I'm still trying to figure it all out. Please tell me that that's not you in a gimp suit. It's not me, it was for a joke for the foodie video. It's not me in a gimp suit. It's Jimmy. What do you want your last meal to be? That could be for you, foodie, that could be for me. Um, foodie, what do you want your last meal to be? You can't choose heroin, or molly. My last meal, some Hong Kong style roast duck and some rice. And I'll wash it down with the tears of foodie beauty. How do you look at yourself in the mirror? I hope this one's for, for our bitter tits and not me. How do you look at yourself in the mirror? After claiming everything is a lie or made up by haters, Narcissists, they'll never get it. I watched a good um, episode of South Park the other day and it's it's Cartman and him and Jimmy come up with a joke. Well, Jimmy comes up with a, a joke. It's the fish sticks. Do you like fish sticks? What are you, a gay fish? And Cartman twists it after retelling it and retelling it until he came up with a joke and he... Then I just thought, oh, it's like all the narcissists, the twist things, so they're the hero in their, in their mind and everybody else is the bad guy. You know, they actually said and did all those terrible things um, people criticize you for. Also, is a sham marriage, I don't know enough about that yet. We'll get to that. Episode 20, I don't know, it's, it's, there's loads, uh, there's so much more than I thought. Sorry, I've had my breakfast, I'm very burpy, sorry. <sighs> like foodie. Also, is a sham marriage to stick it to all the doubters truly worth the very possibility of you not celebrating many more birthdays? Ugh. If your husband truly loves you, he'd be begging you to go to Canada to get the free healthcare. Maybe he's a feeder? I saw a little program about feeders not too long ago. Maybe a feeder, maybe loving it. I don't get it, I don't get the feeder thing. Love this person, you might kill them in a week. I, I don't get it. Uh, does God give you terrible nightmares for cosplaying a religion? God, oh, cosplaying, yeah. Uh, she, no, she won't care. I saw a little clip the other day, just before she got banned, supposedly. I saw a little clip where she was doing, oh, was I watching Geordie? I think I was watching Geordie's live stream where she was doing this 2013 Anne Boleyn Reed voice. Hi, um, peace be upon you, and... I was thinking, I've never heard that. I've never heard her speak like that. Because every time I catch clips of her in the modern age, she's always raging or, or having this horrible bitter tone, this horrible Mariam tone. I love that her name's bitter. Um, <laughs> uh, so I've never seen her speak like that. So it was really strange. But people, people were saying it's a low BMI uh, tone, tone of voice. Never heard that, I've just heard vileness. Is vileness a word? It is now, I've coined it. You get upset about people, no don't. You get upset about people slash reactors, must be for, for foodie, and you rage and like revenge. Oh, I love a bit of revenge, I don't mind a bit of revenge. But why can't you channel that revenge into your weight loss? Takes effort, She's not clever enough to understand. Uh, like, a, like a spiteful, I'll show them kind of thing. Oh, that's a good point. 
yeah, you, you fuel fuel people's hate and fuel it and, and use it, use their negativity to, yeah, I get that, I've, I've done that before, I get that. I'll have to hurry up. Uh, like a spiteful, I'll show you kind of thing, instead of pointlessly repeating the same stuff. She's just not clever enough to do anything. Why doesn't she grow up already? Uh, what's it called? Arrested Development, a really good show. She can't, same as Amber, they can't ever grow up. It's, it's never gonna happen, people, they're never gonna change. Foodie, you have claimed that your husband, Salah, has such a successful job that he could support both of you. So I didn't know that. So my question is, why continue to make videos? Because she's a vlogger, she's a YouTuber, come on. And do live streams on YouTube if it is so bad for your mental health. Don't give us YouTube my job crap. I guess it is a job if she gets paid for it. She doesn't seem to enjoy it. So I don't know why she keeps doing it then. Maybe she wants to be independent. Wasn't that part of her name as well, independent? Uh, why do you hate your mother so much? Wasn't she jealous she remarried? Had another kid who was younger and, and nicer than her? Yeah, this whole hating women thing, I heard that. And I thought, oh, well, she wasn't nice about the nurse and she wasn't nice to her man, but it doesn't mean she hates all women. I think I was wrong. I think she does hate all women, the, um, the mayor stuff. Who the heck is Mariam and why that name? Like we said, it means bitter, bitter. Were you really surprised when you found out your uncle was your father? Um, I was, I was a bit confused how my father, no, I assume that's for, for foodie. Um, oh, that, oh, that's not true, is it? Oh, sorry, <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna try and give a clever answer of, I'd, uh, you got me, you got me. A father isn't really uh, her uncle as well, I don't think. Why, no, of course not. Why are you so bothered by FFG, French Red Girl? Uh, I just hate her. Uh, no, again, I assume that's that's for noisiest floorboards. I assume that's for, uh, what's Bitter Tits called again? <laughs> foodie Beauty, I assume that's a Foodie Beauty. Wasn't it because of the cats, which we're getting to? Um, she hit, yeah, as far as I know. Well, I know Amber hit, hated me more than any other YouTube channel. I don't think Foodie hates me more than any other channel. I think French Fried Girl still holds that crown. But I'm coming for it. I'm gonna pinch it off you, French Fried Girl. Why are you such a see you next Tuesday? I've always been like that. No, I'm assuming that's for Foodie. Maybe it is for me. I don't mean to be, I'm sorry. Um, she is She is pretty, pretty nasty. Does she ever talk to her father or half-brothers? Oh, that's a good question. Foodie, if you, if you want to answer that. Do you ever talk to your father or your half-brothers? It's a good question. What happened to her? Or what did she do? That she believes PDFs are safe after prison. Yeah, I didn't really, I don't think I explained it very well in the, at the end of the, the documentary thing. I don't think I explained it very well. I think I got a bit too, yeah, I didn't explain it very well. Uh, one of the points I was gonna make was, yeah, does she think after spending a few months, few years in prison, that that person now comes out and is cured and doesn't have those, and doesn't want to do the things that sent them, sent them to jail? I, I didn't, I didn't mention that. There's a few things I missed out, but yeah, why does she, um, yeah, Foodie, if you're watching, if you want to answer that when you come back after your ban, um, why are you best mates with PDFs, let me know. What is her diagnosis? Uh, just horrible, I don't know. <laughs> uh, what was the thing that happened during your childhood that you said you would probably never talk about? I don't know, we're gonna get to that. What's your opinion of 50, of the 50 Shades movies? Foodie, that, you can take that and, and I'll answer it as well. I've never seen them. I've never read the books. I hear they're not very good, but there's been plenty of times where public opinion is different to mine. There's a film with Eddie Murphy. Ah, oh, I forgot it now. Jeff Gold, Jeff Goldblum's in it. Uh, Jeff Goldblum, he, he sells stuff on the shopping channel. He finds Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy helps him sell stuff, but he's not about materialistic things. So it's, I forgot what it's called now. Anyway, I watched it, I loved it. And I text Jimmy going, ah, oh, this film's amazing, how have I never seen? And Jimmy said, it's the worst film he's ever seen. I was like, is it? And then I checked, everybody hates it. I was like, oh, I loved it, sorry. <laughs> so um, what was my point? Fifty Shades, yes, I hear the bad, but I might watch them and go, oh, I really like it. I really like the story to them. That's why I would watch Fifty Shades. Mr. H oh, Mr. Hatred. Oh, sorry, I was thinking of Mr. Cardigan. My hatred, maybe call me that, Mr. Hatred and Bitter Tits. My hatred for Foodie Beauty cannot be expressed within Instagram's character limit. That was a limit. 
Uh, I did try though. What was your question? Oh, you hate her. Thank you. Uh, are Amber's cardigans better than Mr. Snowflakes? Does she wear cardigans? Amber. Cardigan also fits. I haven't watched much much Amber lately. I think, I, I think I've said before I, I tried to do a new series on it, one I'd had on the on the list for years. It's over. Can't do it. I'm gonna take another stab at it because I don't want to be defeated by Amber. But I don't think I don't think it's gonna happen. I think she's too dull in the modern age. Uh, are her cardigans better? No. Well, you see what's coming soon. Oh, the cardigans are gonna blow your socks off. Is it a good look to complain to your audience about views? Maybe me. Maybe her. Uh, I hope I never complain about views. I, I understand when a video is not gonna be watched by many people. Uh, I'm uploading a crime video for everybody tonight. I understand it's not gonna do views. That's okay. Does Foodie Beauty complain about views? She must do then, she must do. Hmm. Do you look back at all pictures and have regret? Could be for any of any one of us there, foodie. Do I have regret? No. Foodie, do you have any regrets? Please say yes. Uh, can you show the marriage certificate? Foodies, I assume that's foodie. Foodie, can you show, show that? People think it's a sham. And I know she's all about, I'll prove you wrong. So I wonder why she doesn't prove people wrong. Maybe it's a sham, I don't know. Who is the worst pizza or salad? I don't know enough about both yet. Like I said, I, I would have loved to have learned the whole story and then make videos, but there's no time. How long would that take me? So I, I can't do that, so. Pete's, I'm learning some stuff. Salah, I don't know anything about. Even the poopy gate stuff. I, I haven't seen the text. I want to keep away from it until I get to there and be surprised and horrified. Uh, how does it feel being such a terrible Muslim? Yeah, I'm sorry. Being such a terrible Muslim uh, person and slowly eating yourself to death. Foodie, how does it feel? Must feel pretty good. Somebody says, uh, sorry, I was confused there because it's one of my fruit. Is it a meme? I don't know. Two glasses of milk. Two glasses of milk, please. Two glasses of milk, please. Two glasses of milk, please. We don't have milk, sir. Uh, was that your question? Two glasses of milk? Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, how can you not understand Canadian taxes and why aren't you paying them? Is she not paying taxes again? I've, I've heard that one before. She must be making loads of money now, is she? It was like a hundred people in a in one of our live chats the other week, the other day. Who is Foodie's favorite Beezer and why is it Jimmy Bunker? J Jimmy's Jimmy's not threatening. He's not making big videos about a being awful. He's a funny side character, so maybe there's no threat. Is she just as codependent on partnership as Amber? Oh, that's a question. How do we qualify the difference? Oh, maybe, maybe she is. She's, she's, I know she's always desperate for a partner like Amber is, and the first person who comes up <coughs> uh, will do. So maybe she is just as, as codependent, maybe. Do you use Beezer spray to clean your abia? No, I don't. Do you have a butt wiper or a wand? I think it's called. Ah, I forget one of them, a wand. King Cobra makes wands, doesn't he? Your tampon, oh, your tampon or your tampon? I've said tampon too many times. Your tampon or place your sanitary pad. Your tampon or place your sanitary pad. What do you do when you have your monthly periods? Must be for foodie, that one. How do you know where to insert? Is shopping for underwear difficult? Gotta be for foodie again. Like, is there a specialist shop for death fat sizes? Ah. Has your fupper ever gotten in the way or bump things over in a store. These have got to be for foodie, haven't they? Do you have web toes, Mr. Snowflake? Oh, that's, oh, that's for me. Web toes? Yeah. I don't think so. I never look at me toes. <gasps> I do? No, I don't really. Do I? No. Cool. Now I've got my sock back on. Oh no, I can't get my sock on. I'm foodie beauty. Pete! <laughs> Wipe me ass while you're there, will you? I really can't get me sock on. Not because I'm fat, I'm just, just a man. Um, has salad... <laughs> has salad met your family in person? I assume that's Salah. Has he, has he met them? Would you and Salah ever consider adopting a child? Oh, I hope not. Bloody hell. Not with, uh, not with the friends she keeps. No, God no. 
Oof. If you could go back in time to any point in your YouTube career, where would you rewind to? Uh, for me, if it's me, Noah, I'm happy where I'm at now. I'm liking the, the future videos coming. Questions about foopers. Do you have any real regrets, foodie beauty? Be an interesting one if you answered that without raging. Put your low BMI voice on. Do you, do you have any regrets? Why do you wear kitty hijabs? Does she? I don't, see, I don't, I don't know the modern foodie because I'm back researching the old stuff. So even when she's uh, raging about me, I won't watch <coughs> the whole video. I haven't even seen it. I won't watch the whole video. because I think they're quite boring. A lot of the rages, but uh, yeah, she's done loads of rages about me. I've seen little clips. I needed, I've used clips. Was she wearing a kitty's hijab? I don't know. Why do you pray like a man? Is she capable of redemption? Nope. At this point, or just a lost cause in your opinion? Lost cause. Thanks. Thanks for the question. Lost cause, yeah. Uh, I think if this was me, I don't know, two years ago, something like that, maybe I would have been like, no, no, I'm not giving up. I, I, you can save it. No, there's no, no. And where you all are now. It usually takes me longer to, to understand you can't save everybody, but yeah, you can't save everybody. Any of her mukbangs you've seen where you've gone, ooh, very nice. When she was eating cheese, showing dead bodies, I thought that was classy. Uh, no, I've gone, ooh, no, I don't think so, because I'm always off put by a jaw clicking and a chewing, and I'm also just frustrated at, I'm listening for a story. Oh, she's telling a story about a past, I'll use this for the video. But it's a 30 minute video with a one minute story. So I've, I've never really thought about, oh, that looks nice. Who's a bigger D-head, Mr. Cardigan or Mr. Snowflake? Mr. Cardigan is a bigger D-head. Mr. Snowflake was a lot more naive. Uh, Mr. Cardigan just wants to, uh, is taking pleasure in exposing her evilness now. Mr. Cardigan's definitely a bigger D-head. Have you ever thought of seeing a therapist for your self-destructive behaviors? She, she would never do that, it's self-improvement. These. Uh, Amber, they're not about self-improvement. They're about telling you that they've, they've improved. But when it comes to the actual work, no, no, of course she's not going to. But let us know, Foodie. Actually, Foodie, when you come back after your ban, you could answer a few of these. But just, like, calm down. <laughs> Wait, just calm down. But just answer them calmly like I am now. Just just, just talk. Just be normal. Use your, use your low BMI voice. Um, What do you think has more bacteria on it, foodie or a public toilet? Well, actually, I watched some clips of My 600 Pound Life and there was a woman on there. Oh my God, I, d I didn't know you could be almost a thousand pounds as a human being. I never thought about it. I just thought, I didn't think what the limit is. 600 pound life, yeah, there must be over 600. I don't know, but she was nearly a thousand pounds and she was showing you all the, all the rolls. Don't watch this in the morning when you've got your breakfast. She was, Showing all the rolls and they were just so infected. I was like, oh, I didn't know you could be so bad. A thousand pounds. So maybe um, more bacteria. Uh, we'll say foodie's rolls. Oh, sorry, foodie. <laughs> what has more bacteria? Foodie does, not foodie's rolls. Sorry. Thoughts on Mr. Snowflake? Hate him. That must be for foodie. Pro probably says hates me. Uh, shag, marry, kill. Oh, that's from. I don't care. Shag, marry, kill. Pete's. I'm not saying his name, Dom, or Poopy. Oh, come on, I can't answer. Marry, marry, marry. Oh. Marry Poopy. <laughs> it's nuts. Marry Poopy, because he's got a good job apparently and can support me. I can stop doing this YouTube game. Kill Dom Shag Pete's. And if anybody clips that out of context, I shall not be happy. How many LBs do you think foodies fupper balls with? Has she got fupper balls? Do you have balls? I don't know, a lot. I don't know. Probably the same weight as a Pikachu. Look about the same size. Sorry, I was watching some Pokemon stuff earlier. Are you finding the Chantal videos more entertaining, even if horrifying, than Amber's? Oh, by a mile. Like I said, I, I, tried, I, I was trying to do a new Amber series. Can't do it. I don't have the skill. Can't do it. Yeah, foodie, it's more horrifying. But uh, yeah, I guess you'd say more entertaining, I guess. Uh, favorite foodie outfit look you've come across? I liked her when she was naked. 
in the bath. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I've seen way too many of them. Oh God, is the only fans this episode or not? Is that episode four? Oh, I don't know. Uh, favorite foodie outfit? I never thought you should look good in anything. Uh, the hijab, it's black, it's slimming. How drunk would you need to be? Need to be to what? Oh, uh, <laughs> how drunk would you need to be? Well, I don't drink. How drunk would you need to be? Oh, pretty drunk. To, no, to the point where I forget my own name. How drunk would you? I don't think there's enough alcohol in the world. It's not enough money if you want to pay me. Nothing, nothing would, no, not doing it. I'm not catching stuff off her. I learned about that recently. Perfume on her, on her bits. Foodie, there's your questions. Answer some if you like. Mm. You don't have to, but we miss you, girl. Come back, let us know where you are. Let us know you, that you're safe. Um, I hope the band's not been too bad and you haven't been raging too much watching episode two. You look good there. <laughs> um, that was off Geordie. That, uh, Geordie did a terrible thumbnail. That's, jo that's all audience it's Geordie's fault. He did a terrible thumbnail. And, and I just printed that out. Uh, answer a few of them if you like. If not, that's fine. There's some foodie content to keep you fed for a bit. I've got a couple of more planned in the week. Unless she comes back and then I, I won't need to do them. Um, yeah, I'll, 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 I hope something. Yeah, I'll, I'll see everybody soon in the, in the next episode. Which hopefully will be out, what is it today? First of April. Ah, oh, April Fools, I could have done in April Fools. Oh, it's still not too late. It's April 1st. So it'll be out at the end of the month. End of the month. The first one came out when she hit 100,000. The second one came out on her birthday. Mainly by coincidence. Well, but when people started to tell me it was her birthday, I was like, okay, try and get it out. So I, I, I mean, I, I probably would have got it out a day late. I probably would have got it out on the 29th, but because people said it's her birthday, I, I just stayed up all night a few times just to get it out. So it worked out that way anyway, maybe. But anyway, let me know you say, foodie. I miss you. Love you, girl. Hope you're okay. Right there, that's, there's your April Fools. Right. Bye, everybody. Oh, that was all right. Bye, everybody. Ugh. Ugh. I'm gonna burn me lips off now. <laughs> Checks her fupper. Fupper creases, yeah.